This is a time-lapse video showing the before and after of severe transpositions in 4K resolution. It documents a fascinating and rare problem that took four years of treatment to address. The transposition of the right canine was not the only issue. There were also cysts that caused additional complications. These cysts altered the direction of the tooth germs and their eruption path. The maxillary left canine was the most affected tooth as it had moved backwards. The second left premolar was also severely displaced. However, after one year of space maintaining, let's see what happened with the left canine. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to our channel. In June 2017, the CBCT scan revealed an even worse transposition, with the canine in contact with the first molar following the cyst surgery. What should be the treatment approach for this case? In June 2016, a maxillary view showed the bonding of braces and the use of 90 open coil springs for space opening. In October, a power chain was placed for canine traction after some space had been created. By March 2017, the right canine had been moved to its proper position, and it was time for surgical exposure of the left canine in its transposed state. Note the force vector used which aimed to be as close to the center of resistance of the canine as possible. By June 2017, the canine started moving away from the molar. In October 2017, it became possible to initiate the traction of the canine, moving it buckily towards its normal position. In March 2018, it was engaged in the main arch wire. At the end of her treatment, the residual spaces were closed using power chains. In May 2020, the braces were debonded, fixed retainers were placed, and some buildup was done on the canine. These retention records taken three years after the treatment demonstrate the stability of the alignment, although there is a broken fixed retainer. In the frontal view, you can observe some spacing in the maxillary arch and a lack of space for the canines. After bonding the braces, space was opened using needy open coil springs. It became possible to initiate the traction of the canine, moving it buckily towards its normal position. The patient developed maxillary deficiency and a slight class 3 malocclusion. The left canine was engaged in the main arch wire. In January 2019, the mandibular braces were bonded to correct midline shifting. In May 2020, the braces were removed after achieving midline correction. Note the stability of the alignment three years after the treatment. Let's now observe what occurred during her treatment from the left side view. Braces were bonded and needy open coil springs were used to create space. The canine was tractioned buckily to its normal position. The patient developed maxillary deficiency and a slight class 3 malocclusion. Mandibular braces were bonded to fix midline shifting using class 3 elastics. After debonding the braces, fixed retainers were placed and some buildup was done on the canine. Once again, note the stability of the alignment three years after the treatment. On the OPG orthopantomogram, taken before and after the treatment, we can observe that the maxillary left canine root position has been overcorrected and the bone has repaired in the cysts. Thanks for watching.